but trust in God who raises the dead. You know, Yogi Berra said, it ain't over till it's over. And a lot of times preachers, you know, you know, if you're still alive, you got hope, you know. But it can even go beyond death <laughs> because God that raises the dead, you know. So he says uh, there, and, and God has delivered us from so great a death, and he does deliver us. And we trust He will yet deliver us. Past, present, and future. Amen. Praise God. God is there. So this guy's just come through one of those. And now he says, uh, verse 19 of Psalm 118, Open unto me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. Now, Jesus is the door. Remember John 10, the door to the sheep and so forth? I am the door. So it gates, gates of righteousness, it gates into righteousness. I mean, ultimately, it's Jesus. Uh, the, his way of salvation through Jesus. And, Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord unto which the righteous shall enter I will praise you, for you have heard me, and you are become my salvation. Folks, salvation isn't some, it's not just some doctrine. It's not just some experience. It's not just something you once experienced. Uh, salvation is a person. God is our salvation. He has become our salvation. And so it's just like Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. You know, life isn't just something, well, I have, I have eternal life, and that's this, uh, you know, this quality that I'm going to live forever. Yes, yes, yes. But Jesus is your life. And this is life eternal, that they might know me, the only true God, and Jesus, they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent, John 17, 3. Uh, I am the resurrection. It, resurrection isn't just something that happened to Jesus on Easter. It's, it's not just something that's going to happen one day and will be raised up. You know? It's not just something that happened to Lazarus. Jesus is the resurrection. And He is our salvation. One of the, to me, uh, most beautiful scriptures in the Psalms, uh, and it says, David says to the Lord, he says, to the Lord, he says, Lord, say, you, you say, Lord, I want to hear you say to my soul, quote, I am thy salvation. Mm -hmm. he, that's the words he wants God to speak to him. I am thy salvation, David. David, I am your salvation. Now, you know, a lot of times David says, you know, you have become my salvation. Lord, you are my salvation. Salvation is of the Lord. I am saved. Lord, I am yours. Save me. It just, you know, he talks about that a lot. But sometimes we need the Lord to speak that to us, don't we? <laughs> You know, it's good we, we and the Lord, the Lord is your salvation. Hallelujah, Brother Bill said the Lord is my salvation. Isn't that great? Maybe. The Lord is my salvation. You know, I'm just standing strong on the word. That's great. But sometimes we need the Lord to say to us, Joe, I am your salvation. Jimmy, I am your salvation. You know, and so... You know, here he's saying in Psalm 118, you have become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused has become the head stone of the corner. That's about Jesus. This is the Lord's doing. It's marvelous in our eyes. That's used in the New Testament about Jesus. The, 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 the builders, the Jewish leaders, crucified him. They rejected him. They had him crucified. 
but he rose from the dead and he became the chief cornerstone, the rock of our salvation. Verse 24, this is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord, O Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. You know, now this part here, verse 24, this is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. That's a verse we like to say and sing. But I, I went through that whole thing because I want you to get something. This is the day that the Lord has made. Because it's so sunny. God gave us good weather. Hallelujah. We may be happy that it's sunny. But the joy isn't because of the weather. The joy isn't because it's my birthday. The joy isn't because uh, it's Sunday and we can go to church and we don't have to teach school. <laughs> the joy isn't, it's the day he's talking about is the day Jesus rose from the dead. That he became our salvation. You know, that's, that's the day and that's why we can rejoice every day in the Lord. You'll see me again and your joy no man takes from you. And so that's the, this is the day is talking about the day uh, that Jesus rose again, and died for us, rose again, and, and became our salvation in, in all the fullness of that word. So again, Rejoice in the Lord. And again I say, rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. So God's given us joy. And even in times of tribulation, even in times of trouble, we can count it all joy. Even there didn't seem to be anything worth a joying or rejoicing about. But I've got all of this. And because of this, I'm going into eternity with Jesus. 